folks, and this is you, my name is Christina, and welcome to another Let's Get Reels movie review. Today is Classic Movie Thursdays here on my channel, my version of Throwback Thursdays. Today's movie I will be reviewing is Third Finger Left Hand from 1940, starring my favorite, Myrna Loy, and another of my favorites, Melvin Douglas. Third Finger Left Hand begins with a view into the office of Margot Sherwood Merrick, played by Myrna Loy. She works for a magazine, and she's an editor. She has a lot of power, a lot of people flocking around her, and she's got a good job. She likes her life. and. Apparently she's married. I, and I say apparently because her little story that she gives everyone is that she's married to a guy named Tony Merrick, but he's never around, that she just had a fling and that he's off somewhere and she can't get a divorce because nobody can find Tony Merrick. Mario tells this story so that the boss doesn't hit on her and other men don't hit on her and they leave her alone to do her job. And that's actually quite genius and it worked for so long and she actually actually had only one person know, just one person, not even her family. And the only reason she had this person know is because he, she had him write letters that were supposed to be from Tony and sent to the office. So she had it. She had all of this down. She really liked it. She was having a good time with it. And until she meets this guy named Jeff Thompson, played by Melvin Douglas, she was going to, I believe, greet a friend on a boat that she had come in from Cuba. And Margo got the wrong room. She wound up getting Jeff's room and she had this art dealer rushed out of the room. She's like, get out of here. Stop, you know, ignoring me, being mean and, you know, whatever, all this other stuff, because Jeff is a painter, and I guess Margot's friend is also a painter, but poor Jeff had tried for two years to get this one dealer to come in and look at his paintings, and Margot totally screwed that up, and the guy ran away in a huff. So Margot, being a nice person, actually goes back to the dealer with Jeff and negotiates a deal, because she's saying, that she was from another art dealer and they're gonna give him this, they're gonna give him that. She drove up his price and percentage and everything. She gets him a show at this place and it's a success. So Margot did a very good job. And of course they start to kind of fall in love with each other. Margot really likes him and she was probably going to explain the whole deal, but when they're out to dinner, one night, one of her drunken friends, a guy, a male, who really likes Margot and is always trying to ask her out and everything, lets spill that she's married and Margot just goes along with it and doesn't want Jeff to know. Jeff really liked Margot and he could tell that she really liked him. So to get her back, he finds out where she lives in the country with her father and her sister and he pretends to be Tony Merrick and causes such a big ruckus. He, the whole plan kind of backfires a little bit on both of them, both their plans. Jeff saying like, oh yeah, I'm your husband and then you know, Margot saying like, oh yeah, I'm married I guess. and. Actually, Margot's other guy friend, I forget his name, he really, really, really likes her and he was always like at her beck and call and everything. He was always asking her to please get a divorce and, you know, be with me. To get out of her marriage, she actually has to wind up marrying Jeff because he was saying like, oh yeah, I'm Tony and all this stuff. But she can't go and say like, oh, I'm not really married because she's well known and the family makes a lot of money. and. Like, it just, everything just backfires, and of course, again, they really do fall in love with each other, and at the end, it's this whole nice thing, and she agrees to marry Jeff. Myrna Loy and Melvin Douglas are wonderful together in this movie. I think Myrna Loy could have had chemistry with a broom. She was just that kind of an actress. She was so good with whoever she was paired with, male or female, and her acting was just phenomenal, and 
comedy, dramas, anything, because Third Finger Left Hand is definitely a mix of comedy and drama. It starts off as a comedy, like very light comedy, and then you have the drama of Margot and Jeff needing to get married, but they don't really like each other, or they do, they have feelings for each other, kind of gets a little crazy. My favorite scene in this movie, and possibly like one of my favorite Myrna Loy scenes ever, is when they are at Niagara Falls because they have really gotten married so that they can get a divorce and they're like on their honeymoon and everything and they see somebody from Jeff's hometown so he's saying like oh hi you know he, oh, how you doing how's everybody at home and all this stuff and then Margo is like I'm gonna he mess with me I'm gonna mess with him so good and Myrna Loy puts on this great kind of like tough girl accent you know if you know anything about Myrna Loy she's very like almost snotty looking in some ways and she's very like proper even with like doing comedy and everything and apparently I read that this was Myrna Loy doing an impression of Jean Harlow who was one of her best friends and it is one of the funniest things ever she was like oh my folks own a, a butcher shop in brooklyn or something like that and she was just like really being super fresh to get back at jeff for being such a pain in the ass with her family and everything and oh my god it's just hilarious like it's something you would never think Myrna would to do and she's like i'm not a tight water you know it's like just putting on this really funny accent I think she was trying to do New York but you know you can if you've seen Jean Harlow you would definitely know who Myrna Loy took her inspiration from and that she definitely took it from Jean Harlow I love that scene so much I remember seeing that scene on YouTube before I saw the movie and I could not wait to see the movie because of that scene and it was so worth sitting through this whole movie is worth sitting through but it's worth sitting through for that specific scene uh, I'll leave the link to the scene below and definitely definitely go and watch it Melvin Douglas is fantastic too I really like his movies but I've been kind of seeing a little bit of a pattern with his movies lately his characters they play like the big joke really to get this the plot going but then his characters like can't handle the joke being played back on them like it's like a double standard and that really pisses me off like I understand this was a movie in the 40s but like oh my god the double standards are just so outrageously annoying and I know it's not his fault he's not writing it but like I just been noticing that plot with his movies and his characters and uh it's getting a little old and a little frustrating but as I said it's not his fault and he does a great job with whatever he's given. Third Finger Left Hand is very very funny, very well acted by both Myrna Loy and Melvin Douglas and all the cast of characters and actors they were great. The story starts off as I said light and then it kind of gets a little bit heavy but still kind of funny and you know, I'm not gonna say the story is like one of the greatest stories in, of a comedy movie ever, but it's fun. It's enjoyable to see what Myrna Loy and Melvin Douglas do together and with their characters. Third Finger Left Hand is definitely worth watching if you are into classic films or you just want something light to watch and definitely go check it out. That was my review of Third Finger Left Hand. If you like this review in any way, please give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below if you have seen Third Finger Left Hand. We can talk about Myrna Loy, any, uh, anything you want to about her or Melvin Douglas, whatever. And also in the comments, make sure to leave your suggestions of what I should watch next. They can either be classic movies or other movies because I just love watching any type of movie. And if I pick your movie and I review it, I will give you a shout out. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for future Classic Movie Thursdays and other movie reviews. And as always, keep watching movies and stay absolutely fabulous.